phone <laughs> Where do things... Oh, I got it. Okay. Where are things we do with for each other? There. I met a new friend, Veronica. She makes me happy. I don't know what it is. Like some people you just meet, you just become instant friends with them. There's something that fit. I don't know her energy. She's just she is a generous, really nice, easygoing person to be around with. Can I smoke weed? My name is Lisa Whalen and I'm homeless. We're in King Square Park, Charlottetown, PEI. Meeting people makes me happy. Veronica is one of them. Well, I got myself in a situation to where I ended up at the women's shelter and that's where I met Lisa. I know like everyone's kind of in a survival mode when you're on the streets and she's kind of like not really animal-like when it comes to that. She's more just like, you can tell she fat. she follows her heart. Like, I didn't really mind being outside. People were good to me. Um, people dropped off tents and sleeping bags and food and money. But it's lonely. It can be a lonely life when you're by yourself. You know, it, it wouldn't be that bad if I had somebody with me. Um, but, you know, you meet people in different stages of life. So you're not always with the people day in and day out. They come and go. So you make friends and then they disappear and you have to restart again. So it can be lonely. Or my friend's going to be coming from Florida. She's going to fly here and then she's going to drive us out of here. And then I'll drive her back to Florida, then back to California. And so, yeah, I'm definitely going to be missing her. <laughs> yeah. Front shots. Well, I live at Blooming House right now. The first time, probably five years ago, I was scared. That was scary because um, for the first time I went psychotic. I, I had a mental health issue and I wasn't looking after my apartment and I got thrown out. It was in the summer and it was really during a heat wave and I didn't know um, to drink enough water and I was dehydrated and I was hungry and I was cold. I was sleeping um, outside. You know where the Charlottetown Mall is? Well, when you go through the field, there's like, you go down and then down again and it's like in the woods. It's called Tent City. So I just put up, like, put a tarp underneath me and some blankets and a tarp over, and I had a friend staying with me. And I did that for three nights. Oh, oh. Yeah. oh now you are caught. We need some help. Hello. Hello. All right. Get going. Lisa, mm. does um, Church Alarms often like give you food like this? They don't give it to me, I pay. How often do you go there? Every day. My guess is that they have been really nice to you, yeah? No. They treat me like just a person, like every, any other person going in there which makes me feel good, you know. I've gone there before and been like two or three dollars short and still gotten a hamburger and went back and paid later, you know. It's almost like a stigma here on PEI being homeless. It hurts. I had a really bad experience. He called me, I don't even want to say the names, but really bad because I asked him for change. I let him walk in to the store and then Something about him just, the Lord just said, go and 
talk to him, so I went in the store after him, and I was in my locker then. I had my locker then, which made it kind of even more insulting because I was disabled at the time. I walked over and went into the store, and I said, Sir, and he said, I don't want to give you any money. I said, this isn't about money. This is about how rude you were to me. I said, those names you called me, I'm not any of those words, and I don't appreciate it, and I'm sorry you had a bad day. But you don't talk to people like that. It hurt me. And I would like an apology, but I know I'm not going to get one. So I just hope you have a better day. And I walked out. People just think that homeless people are all like drug addicts and, you know, have never been to school and have never accomplished anything. Like, that's not true. Like, I used to be married. I used to be a mother. I had a life, you know. That's what the stigma is, that we're not people. We are, we have feelings. If you had three wishes, what would they be? Talk to my daughter, number one. Find an apartment and go to school.